I'm here in West Nashville to see a good friend of mine who's an amazing chef who has four restaurants and a brewery and also is the winner of Tournament of Champions 2. Come on, guy. Are you going to be talking about me the whole day? Let's go in and cook. This is Manit Shohan, and this is Chattable Indian Street Food. Yes, chef, I'm coming oh, right go, now. Let's go, let's go. Puchka, slider, samosa. Chattable is more than a restaurant. It's an experience. You have cauliflower tari. As soon as you open the doors and walk in, it's like you're in India. Which is where the story of this power couple, Vivek Diora and Manit Shohan, began during college and continued with a worldwide journey through the restaurant bids. Walk into a little part of India in a pocket of Nashville, which is totally unexpected. How do you describe it to your friends? I would say there's something for everyone. For my vegetarian friends, it's a fantastic option. I love meat. I'm eating the lamb sliders. Two shami kebab sliders up. The lamb slider is like a kebab on a bun. A complete package in one bite. Your mouth kind of explodes with happiness. We are going to be making shami kebab sliders. Traditionally, it's made with minced goat. We are going to be making it with minced lamb. One of the most important things is the garam masala. There are infinite numbers of masala. Yes. So based on the region, the garam masala changes. OK. This is the house garam masala. This is the house garam masala. Cumin seeds, coriander seeds, black peppercorn, black cumin seeds, okay. bay leaf, whole red chili, some cloves. Got it. Green cardamom, star anise, Black cardamom. Mace. Yay! Huh? Nutmeg and cinnamon. Toast this off. The spices, the flavors are going to be released right, right now. Oh, I can smell it. And then we blend it. Next step. The lamb patties. So ground lamb. Garam masala that Great. we just made. Crushed coriander powder. Turmeric powder. It's first time we've seen turmeric in the mix. Paprika. Shami kebab masala. This is a blend of coriander, mace, cilantro, mint, cumin, which gives it that quintessential kebab flavor. My head hurts. This is like I'm cramming for a DMV test. Lemon juice, salt, ginger, some chopped mint, cilantro, marinade for a couple of hours. Cook it on the flat top, and now we're making a... Chutney. Start it with the yogurt, some mint leaves, jalapeno. You got it right, uh. Cilantro, scallions, heavy-handed with the garlic. Lime juice, salt. Black salt. Who wants some of the egg salt? I do. Roasted cumin powder, chaat masala. We go ahead and blend it. And the last thing we have is a slaw. Some mayo, Dijon mustard, apple cider vinegar, black pepper, salt, green cabbage, red cabbage, scallions, carrots, and red onions. Got it. We're going to serve this on a roll? We are using Indian pow buns pow. from Portugal. So that's the Portuguese influence. Totally what I expected. The slaw, the shami kebab goes right on top of it, chutney, and more slaw. Impressed. There's so much flavor going on inside of this patty. A little bit of heat, a little bit of acid, a good amount of perfume filling all the olfactory. Delicious bun. Simple for people to understand, yeah. but inside of it, it's big and ferocious and flavorful. And that is a dynamite dish. Lamb sliders to the line, please. This tastes like 15 things every bite you're taking. The mint chutney and the onion slaw are a match made in heaven. 